um, outside Bannon Zoo. And this is um, day one of um, cycling to every town in Norfolk. Four miles to Watton. We're about ten miles in, and uh, it's going well. We're just about to join the A1075. See you there. So, just arrived in Watton, um, it's the first town, and um, we're here at lovely church, St Mary's Church. Um, this dates from the early 1100s. Now, unfortunately, I would go have a look inside the church, but they're obviously closed um, at the moment. So, we'll have to just have a little have a little look around. which was built in 1679 by local businessman Christopher Hay. The top of the tower held a bell which was used to warn residents of Watton and the surrounding villages of fire and the tower was most likely built due to a fire that happened earlier that decade. Upon arriving in Swaffham, I went and had a look round the marketplace. I then cycled up to the town sign which depicts John Chapman, the peddler of Swaffham. After this, it was just a short cycle across to St Peter and St Paul Church. And I just had a look round the grounds and had a look at the church. The church dates back to the 1400s. Its size and its grandeur really show how prosperous Swaffham was as a medieval town. Swaffham is located at the crossroads between north-south and east-west roads through Norfolk. This meant that it was a centrepiece for trade in the county. All that was left to do now was just to cycle back 